you know, obviously it's a process to that. I've seen them all, you know. Uh, but obviously this is another opportunity starting now at the Combine to, to get a chance to, to talk to them, to get a feel for them a little bit more. Uh, I think it's too early in the process to really talk about where they are, where they rank or anything like that. But I think, um, you know, obviously this is really the start of it. And you'll work through the Combine, work through the, the pro days, the private workouts and all those things. And we'll get to know them more, you know, as we, we go through this process. Well, I really don't want to get into compare, comparing regimes or anything like that, but I think, you know, I'm excited about John being in the building. I'm excited about what we do each and every day um, to, to try to get this football team better and, and headed in the right direction. Well, I think it's going to be a collaborative effort, you know, by us all. Uh, through through the personnel department with John, through the coaching staff. You know, we have a new coordinator in Todd Haley. We have a new quarterback coach in Kenny Zampezi. So I think we'll all have input. But at the end of the day, I'm sure me and John will sit down and put our heads together on what's best, you know, for our organization. Well, I think it, you know, obviously having Kenny there and, and me and him going through that before uh, will be an experience, that, like you said, that we've had before. But again, I think John has had a tremendous amount of experience of dealing with quarterbacks and putting the good guys on the team and when we play them and when we don't play them. So we'll take all of that stuff into account, you know, as we go through this. Uh, again, we haven't made any decision about who's going to be first, second, or any of that. I think it's too soon. But again, we'll use all of our experience, John's experience, my experience, Kenny's and Peasy's. Todd Haley's experience to make the best decision for us. I'm sorry. Would you? Would we have to? I would hope not. You know, I would hope there's other things. There's going to be other opportunities, as we all know. You know, we're we have free agency right upon us as well. Uh, we also have opportunities of the quarterbacks that are on our football team right now. So again, we just got to see how it all fits as we move forward. Yeah, I don't want to comment on, on that at this point. But at all levels, I think history has, has shown, it's mm -hmm. been proven that you can find starters at varying levels of the draft. Well, I think the most important part is being able to sit in front of them and talk to them because you haven't been able to do that. You know, I think it's really about getting to know them as, as people you know, and be able to dig into all the medical things that you need to, uh, but be able to have them, be able to really put a face with a name, you know, have them sit before you, ask them questions that you've probably always wanted to ask, you know, since you know these are the quarterbacks that are coming out. So I think that's the, the question we'll get answered this week. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, naturally, it was a, it was uh -huh. a start over there and had a chance to get to the playoffs and, and playing. The there's always game. outliers, right? So for, yeah, for I did say that, but there's always guys who, I mean, there's still guys in the league that are playing that are below six foot two and have played really well. So there's always that one player that's going to be special, and this young man may be that, but we don't know that yet. So we'll find out as we go. Well, I think it all goes into the system that you want to try to play, you know, and I think um, myself and Todd, I think we're, we're united in understanding that there's a certain um, certain characteristics we want our quarterback to have and we'll work through those things. But I think it's it's too early to talk about exactly what all those are. You know, you say benchmarks. I mean, obviously, you guys know I like hand size. I like guys that are athletic, all of that. But it's still got to fit in what you're trying to accomplish on offense. I want a 10. 